OwnerRes Zapier public integration allows users to connect OwnerRes with thousands of the most popular apps, so now you too can automate your work and have more time for what matters most. No code required. You can see how people are using Zapier to automate tasks with OwnerRes and other apps at zapier.com slash apps slash OwnerRes slash integrations. This video will walk you through the steps of creating an OwnerRes Zap that automatically creates a contact in Google Contacts when a contact is created in OwnerRes. If you don't have an account already in Zapier, create one at zapier.com. Zapier's free plan allows for 100 free tasks of five single-step zaps a month. Once logged in, go to your dashboard and click the orange Create a Zap button. Expand the Trigger section and select OwnerRes. You may be prompted to log in and to give Zapier permission to access your OwnerRes account during this step. In the Event field, select Contact Created. Click to expand the Test section and click on the Test button. This will find current data in your OwnerRes account to use for the test. If you don't have any contacts in your OwnerRes account, you may want to add one prior to this step. Highlight a contact and click Continue with Selected Record. You've just set your trigger. You can close the Trigger section and proceed to the Action section. Expand the Action section and search for and select Google Contacts. In the Events section, select Create Contact. Click Continue. In the Account section, you may be prompted to log into whichever account you're creating the Zap for and to grant Zapier permission to access the account. Click Continue to set the actions. For this demo, we're just going to grab the first and last names of the contact. Click in the First Name field, and from the Insert Data menu, select First Name. We'll do the same thing for Last Name. As you can see, there are multiple fields you could import from OwnerRes to Google Contacts. You would select whichever fields you would want to add to your contacts in Google Contacts. Click Continue, then scroll down and click Test Action to see if the data import connection is working. If the connection is working, we'll get a message that reads, A contact was sent to Google Contacts. If I head over to Google Contacts, I can see that the contact has been successfully imported, letting me know that the Zap is working. Name and publish your Zap and you'll see it in your dashboard, by default, turned on and active. You can toggle it on or off as you wish here. If you create a Zap that saves you time and improves your workflow, please let us know in our community forum at ownerreservations.com forums. For more detailed info about using the Zapier integration, please see our support center article ownerreservations.com slash support slash articles slash Zapier. Thanks for choosing Owneres.